and we know who the two Brits have got in the, the tournament actually just out the hat there's a tie and a half uh, Barcelona uh, will play Galatasaray of uh, Turkey earlier Rangers were drawn out the hat first and Rangers conquerors of Borussia Dortmund will play Red Star Belgrade further down the draw it came out thus Sevilla of Spain will play David Moyes' West Ham United. We're getting to the, the latter stages of the draw now. So Rangers were first out. They'll play Red Star Belgrade. Then Carlos Carvajal's Braga will play Monaco. Porto will play Lyon. Atalanta, the Italians, will play Bayer Leverkusen. We know that. Sevilla then came out the hat and they will play West Ham United. What a nice tie that is for West Ham. We'll talk to Julian Laurent about that. Barcelona with uh, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang now in their ranks will play Galatasaray of uh, Turkey. Leipzig have just been drawn and they will play Spartak Moscow. More on that shortly. We'll find out uh, where Spartak will be playing their home tie if indeed they will be playing their home tie and then the final one that came out right at the very end there uh, Real Batiste will play Eintracht Frankfurt so now we know Julien Laurent joins us uh, live our European football expert Julien bonjour monsieur uh, we know that Brand Bronckhorst and Rangers will have to go to Belgrade to face Red Star what's your take on that one? Yeah, I don't think it's a bad draw at all, considering the teams that Rangers could have could have played. It's a hostile place, of course. The atmosphere is, is pretty amazing. They, they have a very, really good record at home in European competition overall. But this is a game that I think Rangers should be confident of winning. What we've seen against Dortmund, home and away, has been really impressive. And, I, and I, they, they're a much better team than this Red Star Belgrade team. So we shouldn't worry that Red Star are anything like the team they used to be with the people like Robert Przenecki and uh, <laughs> uh, Darko Panchev, people like that. No, although that shows our age, Jim, that's for sure. It is. A lot of our listeners would not remember when Przenecki played for Red Star Belgrade. Uh, but no, you're right. It's not, it's not as a good team as, as what it used to be. They, they still produce some good youngsters, but they tend to leave really, really early on. And, and I think the teams have struggled in Europe recently to reproduce the result that we've seen, for example, when they won the European Cup, the, the, you know, the, the ancestor of the Champions League. So it's definitely not that kind of level. And I think for Rangers, again, this is, this is a really good draw. I think this is a really good tie in the sense that uh, this is, again, a tie that they should see out, I think. Again, if they if this play the same way that they did against Dortmund in the, uh, in the playoff ones. Okay, so you take Rangers more than a decent chance to go through. Uh, what about Sevilla? What sort of uh, side are Sevilla? I mean, they're motoring well in La Liga, the second, I think, at this time. And they have got West Ham. What, what do you think? Rakitic back there, of course, now. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a tough one for different reasons, Jim. The first one is the final is in Sevilla, of course, of this competition. Yeah. So, as you can imagine, I think there would be the, the extra motivation even for the Sevillan players for Sevilla, but also for Betis, to, to try to make it all the way to the final and win this competition in, in, you know, in their own city, of course. Um, so that, that's the extra motivation. Then this is a good Sevilla team, of course. Despite being disappointing in the Champions League, they could not get out of their group, which was quite an eclectic group with Lille and Salzburg and Wolfsburg. They finished only third of that. And, and even for what we saw in, in the playoff, they were... They were decent against Zagreb, good in the first half of the first leg. They controlled the second leg last night. Uh, based the team with, with weaknesses, we, they, they don't score as much as they used to last season, for example. They're a bit struggling to create chances, despite Papu Gomez or Campos, Rafa Mir, Anthony Martial is now there uh, on loan from Manchester United. But defensively, they're strong. Diego Carlos, Jules Koundé. It's a, it's a huge game for West Ham. But you know what? I think, I think this is the one that West Ham, if they put their strongest team, and, and have good momentum going into the game, that would cause problem for, for this Sevilla team. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, as Julian says, oh, Martin, Sevilla, sure, they, they, they are going well in La Liga. Yeah, second in the table. Individually, they've got some good performance. Jules Koundé was a target for Chelsea. We know that. Uh, Thomas Delaney, of course, plays his international football for Denmark. Martial's back there. That's where he he's headed playing to, well isn't as well, it? Martial. It's interesting how well he's gone and done that. Now that. I mean, West Ham, I think this is when it starts to bite you know, doing well in the Europa League, latter stages of the Premier League, trying to stay in that fourth position. But all credit to West Ham. I think they, they could surprise us and do really well and go all the way maybe 
in in the Europa League because they've they've looked very impressive this season. Yeah. Um, do you think West Ham? You you, you predict as Julian that Rangers can overcome Red Star Belgrade. Do you, do you say the same about West Ham overcoming Sevilla? Yeah, hundred percent. I think they really have the players to to cause problem to 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 this Sevilla team. I mean, Michael Antonio again. Jim, we were together the other day at the London Stadium. This will have to be West Ham at their best, not the West Ham team that we've seen uh, stuttering a little bit in the Premier League recently, dropping points there and there, conceding goals. They will have to be at their best to be severe over the two legs, but you can expect the atmosphere to be amazing at the London Stadium. And I think someone like Antonio, for example, and bring that physicality, which is something that Kunde at times I struggled a little bit. Remember last season against Erling Haaland? Antonio is not Haaland, but that physicality from Haaland caused problems and havoc in the Sevilla defence. So West Ham will have to be very dominant in midfield with the, the technical players that they have. And then Antonio, I think, will have to, to, to really be a, you know, be a problem for the yeah. Sevilla defence. And set pieces. Again, we've seen Sevilla at times this season struggling a little bit on defensive set pieces where West Ham are really good. So, of course, they can do it, but they will have to be at their best over the, the two legs. So, when you look at it then, Julian, um, uh, Rangers, Red Star, Belgrade, Braga, Car Carvajal's Braga against Monaco, Porto, Lyon, Atalanta, Bayer Leverkusen, Sevilla, West Ham, Barcelona, Galatasaray, Leipzig will take on Spartak, Moscow, and uh, Betis, Eintracht, Frankfurt. Who are favourites to win it? I think Barcelona have to be. I mean, they were so impressive against Napoli uh, last night in Naples as well uh, with that 4-1 win. Obama Young, Adama Traore, Ferran Torres, all the new signing have combined so well since joining the club. Six goals and six, six assists for them three combined together since they moved to Barcelona. So they have to be the, the favourite. Xavi is doing a, a great job there. The only thing is they're also chasing a top four finish in La Liga and whether they can play on you know, in the league and in Europe, is, is, we will have to see. But I think they have to be the favourite ahead of a team like Atalanta, who played Bayer Leverkusen. That's going to be an amazing tie as well. It's, it's clearly a Champions League tie. Uh, and we see the two Sevilla teams. But I think right now, Barcelona have to be the favourite. Julian, it's incredible, isn't it? In one transfer window, how Barcelona completely changed that look with Xavi, the signings that he's made. Uh, Traore, Aubameyang, Torres... It's, their front three is is outstanding. We've always known Busquets can still play. De Jong is is starting now to pull the strings. I mean, it's it's like they're re-emerging overnight, Barcelona. Yeah, and it shows you, Martin, again, what a good transfer window can do to your team. And they've done it in a clever way. I mean, it's 55 million for Torres. That's a lot of money, of course. But Adama is on loan. For Bame Young, they got him on a free with with a, a much reduced wage than what he was on at Arsenal. And then, and so, and then you want them to hit the ground running straight away, which they did. That's fantastic. And Xavi, that's the other side of what he's done to this team as well. He's improved a lot of the other players. Jordi Alba has never played as well as it, it does now uh, for the last 18 months, probably. Same with, with Busquets, same with Franklin de Jong. Even Gerard Piquet scored a, a wonderful striker goal last night for a centre-back. So it's all getting into pieces. That jigsaw that Xavi... Uh, is putting together is, and all the is kids as there. well, Julian. On the, all the kids on the bench, ready to come on now and do well in the right kind of environment. And the best one of all, I think, is Pedri, who started and was outstanding again last night. So they've got a lot of good things going on for them. And this Galatasaray tie is is a doable one for them. It's a bit old school one, Jim, for what we were saying about Red Star Belgrade. There was a time where Galatasaray were in the Champions League and doing well there. Not so much anymore. Again, going to Turkey would be hostile and it would be difficult. But you expect this Barca team to 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 knock them out pretty yeah. easily. Okay, Julian Laurent, thank you so much as always, my friend. Julian, uh, with the first reaction to the Europa League draw, the last 16, and now we know who will face who. who and from a British point of view, we know that Rangers will take on Red Star Belgrade. Uh, it's a tough one, that. The first leg scheduled for the 10th of March. Sevilla will play West Ham United. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.